in life, we really experience a lot of things and somehow those experiences really somehow help us or affect us. So as students and as we really having this kind of class, online class, it really helps us not just learn but also to be aware of different classes in the whole world, different things about life. And it really helps us to grow, to be imaginative and to be knowledgeable to different kinds in life. So one of our subjects is National Service Training Program. This subject is not just letting us know about different um, laws, different um, environmental awareness, but also it really helps us to help also other people on the earth. It really gives us the, the wisdom, the knowledge that can really push us to really do some cause. And in this subject, we really learn so much things and it has different modules and every module has its own topic. So now I'm going to talk about those topics and really um, somehow um, help you to be also informed and be also aware the importance of our environment because environment is everything our environment is the source of everything and i think that we can live without the environment without the mother earth so now i'm going to really um um explain something or somehow um give you the wisdom and the knowledge to be to be informed and to be aware and i hope this may help you so one of the topics that we have done was about the module 6 environmental awareness so in this topic it really gives us the awareness not just in our minds but also to our heart that environment is really important it is really important because environment is everything we could have done everything with the environment i think we could all die with the environment so in this topic we are going to talk about something big issue that really the world is facing now not just the world but all the people all around the world every country every people every child experiencing this problem so this problem is what we call climate change climate change is a change in the statistical distribution and rather over periods of time that range from decades to millions of years it can be changed in the average weather or a change in the distribution of weather events around an average for example greater or fewer extreme weather events Climate change may be limited to specific region or it may occur across the whole earth. So it really can affect the whole world. It would affect the whole world. So we need to do something because this problem not just affects one person, one country, but the whole world. The whole world is experiencing this problem, right? So all of us must do something. All of us must have something. So. What are the causes of climate change? What are the reasons? What are the reasons of this problem? What are the primary causes? What are the primary um, reasons? Because this problem could have be without those reasons. So we need to know those reasons for us to be able to cope up with it and also somehow to, to fix it, right? So there are um, three different causes. I mean, two different causes of climate change. One is the natural causes because it's environment, so it could be natural. So this um, natural causes really affects and it really has a big contribution to climate change. One of these causes is continental drift, volcanoes, the earth tilt, oceans, currents. So this really affects because it's natural, so it's always there. It may help, it may contribute a lot because it's natural. First of all, because it's natural, it's natural causes. So um, when we know these different causes, we need to do something, right? So the second one is human causes. So there's always a human causes. There's always uh, human um, related causes because we are human so there are a lot of things that really people don't know that they're doing those things and they don't know that they're really affecting the earth and also other people so in these human causes the greenhouse gases and their sources so there are a lot of chemicals that 
are really involved with this problem. So there's a carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxide. So this um, natural part is really from different um, factories, vehicles, and it really, 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 really affects our world. So we should know this. And this time that I'll let you know. So I hope that this may help in uh, environmental awareness because we need to be aware that environment is dying and also environment is important. So the next one is if we have the environmental awareness then we should use it and apply it as protection so that's what we call environmental protection. So this um, this matter, this um, topic is really important when it comes to protection because it may help us, not just it may help but it really help us to have an awareness and also somehow to protect our environment. That's the main goal of this um, um, topic. So in environmental protection, we have seven environmental principles that are really, really important. If we get to know the seven principles, then it really help you. It can help you. It can help you because if we get to know the seven principles, then we should be um, think like, oh my god, that's amazing. It would help. So the seven principles are number one, everything is connected to everything else. Ang lahat ng bagay ay magkakaugnay. So this um, principle would let us know that everything are connected to each other. From environment to human to animals to everything to things. Everything is connected to each other and I think that one lesson that this principle could let us know is that we can't do without those um, connections, diba? Right? And we can stand by our own selves, so we need to let them up and let with be with them, so because we can do everything without them. That's 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 just life. Example for a human and the environment, we can't live in our life without environment. That's how important this principle. Everything's connected to everything else. So, number two is all forms of life are important. Ang lahat na may buhay ay mahalaga. So, this um, principle let us know that every human, every animal, every environment is important. They have importance. So, we need to really see that importance in order for us to let them be protected because if we know that this something is important or this human is important or the mother earth itself is important then we need to protect them we need to protect it because we know that we can't live without them so that's how important they are so number three is everything must go somewhere ang lahat ng bagay ay may patutunguhan so everything has their own destiny or has their own journey so as humans we have journey and this journey we are doing is with environment because our journey is not just for ourselves but also for the environment and for other people also diva because we are doing things we because we have inspiration because um we have goals we have we have reason because it's for them it's for all it's not for just ourselves but all the people or all the things that really surround you the important people the important things the important matters that really surround you that's why everything must go somewhere because we are doing for purpose so number four is ours is a finite earth ang kalikasan ay may hangganan so yes ang kalikasan may hangganan because they can live without human. So they, can, they literally live without human. So that's why we need to really protect them. We need to protect our Mother Earth because at the end of the day, it's for always us that may have a positive impact. So number four, number five, brother, is nature knows best. Ang kalikasan ang mas nakakalam. So even though humans have the higher level of thinking, some animals, so 
even though Yuman knows everything or that's why we go to school to learn important things nature always knows best even though some people must say that mother knows best <laughs> no N nature more knows best so because ang kalikasan ang mas because nature manifests certain processes that enable it to maintain balance and remain a state of equilibrium so yes nature can always balance itself and that's why it will really be affected because the people itself are really affecting it because that, that, like what I always said, nature can stand by its feet, so they don't need us to be able to survive. We need environment for us to survive, it's, um, for us to survive instead. So that's why nature knows best because it can balance itself, so they have that ability or that um, credibility to really have themselves. Number six is nature is beautiful and we are stewards of God's creation. Ang kalikasan ay maganda at tayo ang nagtapangawi sa ng lahat ng nalikha ng Diyos. Everything that God created is for our responsibilities. So that's why we need to protect our environment. We need to do something to protect it and somehow save our lives at the end. So number seven and the last but not the least is everything changes. Ang lahat Nang bagay ay so changes in the biophysical world occur naturally so natural it's natural that to happen because tomorrow is another day so everything that we do really affects a whole thing in the world everything changes everything that we do is different from what we had yesterday and by tomorrow and the other day so one thing that we always think is that we need to really know the importance of these principles because this could help us to really improve our imaginations and perspectives in our environment. So the last but not the least topic is for is from module 89, the disaster awareness, preparedness, and punishment. If we have the awareness and protection, then we should also need disaster awareness preparedness and punishment we need to use what we have learned from the past topics in order for us to so survive in times of different um, environmental problems so um, disaster awareness preparedness and management the Philippines is located in a circum Pacific belt of fire and typhoon so we are really prone to different environmental um, problems and one of those are typhoon which is really experiencing we really experience this um, problem because we are located in the pacific ocean that really really made so much typhoon so philippines are, is really prone from the past of different um typhoons typhoons is one of the biggest problems of the philippines in this topic we really need to know the national disaster risk reduction and management plan so this is really important for us to really um, survive to, from different um, environmental problems that may occur in our earth in our country and in our community so the Philippines National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Plan or NDRMP is a road map on how DRM shall contribute to gender responsive and rights based sustainable development so it shall promote inclusive growth build the adaptive capacities of communities, increase the resilience of vulnerable sectors, and optimize disaster mitigation opportunities with the end in view of promoting people's welfare and security. Um, the first disaster plan is the disaster prevention and mitigation. Disaster prevention is really important because it's our way to protect ourselves and it's our way to be safe from different um, disasters. So the second one is disaster mitigation. The lessening or limitation of the adverse impacts of hazards and related disasters. So mitigation measures encompass engineering techniques and hazard resilient construction as well as improved environmental policies and public awareness. So this is also important that we know the different public policies and environmental um, awareness because it would really help it really help it has a big contribution for our safety and survival the next one is disaster preparedness and preparedness so it's very important that in every disaster what we 
Miyokoware, we need to be prepared. We need to get ready. We need to ensure our safety, and it is really important that we um, we need to know the different um, preparedness, different um, prevention, because this could help us to really save our life and also save other people's life in terms of having um, disasters such as typhoons, earthquakes, or different disasters may occur. So, the next one is disaster response. The provision of emergency services and public assistance during immediately after disaster in order to save lives, reduce negative health impacts, ensure public safety, and meet the basic subsistence needs of the people affected. So, it's also important that we have different government um, programs that help other people after having those um, disasters. It's really important because we need to know the needs, we need to know the primary needs of people after having this um, disaster. For example, what we experienced um, so many years ago about the super typhoon Rolanda and the year of 2013, it's really hard. It was really hard because um, it doesn't have an immediate um, response because all of us were affected so we also need to understand at the time that the help would be a little bit slowly so it's important that um, we have different response from different government um, programs because we need to know the basic needs and the primary needs of people after affecting disaster and also the last one is disaster rehabilitation and recovery so rehabilitation measures ensure the ability of affected communities or guests restore their normal level of functioning by rebuilding livelihood and damage to special facing communities organizational capacity so this um disaster rehabilitation and recovery this is very important this is the last part after having Mm, different uh, having disaster it is important that we have our way to to recover and to really surpass what we have experienced by disaster we need to do something for us to recover and we need to have different livelihoods for us to survive and to have food in our table so it's important that we need to know the national disaster risk reduction and management plan for us to save our life so that's all in a steady subject or national service training program is really important subject and we really need to put to our minds that everything that we do everything that we act is somehow could somehow affect or could somehow help us other people and our environment so we need to be aware we need to have the preparedness and we need to know how to save your life we need to be aware we need to be prepared and we need to know what we are going to do after having disaster so this is important this is very important i think because especially our country is experiencing different we are prone to different disasters so we need to know this that's why i made this video for you to be able to know and to be aware about the environment and importance of everything in the world. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.